I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Um, then a, a little bit after that, I don't, you know, and I understand, you know, if you was probably going through things because even though, like I said, you 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 had a lot of ups with your movies, it probably the things that you know you're battling. I don't know, but um, you then a little bit after that put out a video. I guess you were crying. Or something oh, like yeah, that, yeah, letting yeah. out a lot of emotions, yeah. you know. I, I had, I was going through some t tough times at that time, as far as reestablishing myself out here, and not having it the way that I once did before all that, and um, people trying to test me, and I, I was like, man, I don't want to go back to prison, you know what I mean? I don't want to have to do nothing to nobody. And I was just venting, man, like, leave me the fuck alone, man. Stay away from me. Get out of my way. I ain't got nothing against none of you, and I'm not playing. And, yeah, man, I, 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 I recorded it and put it out there, and the shit went viral. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. definitely went viral. Yeah. yeah, I could definitely tell, you know, uh, which a lot of us who come from, you know, those areas are, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did that day for sure, man. And I think I do all the time. I'm not ashamed to say that. You know what I mean? I know who I am. So Yeah, yeah. 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 Real talk, real talk. And um sometime after that you had to um go back uh to prison for twenty one months. I guess you had a knife or, or what kinda happened? I had a knife and was carrying it. Uh, I had two knives actually. Kitchen knives and they was in my waistband and uh, police pulled me over and found it. And I got arrested. I was on parole. They violated my parole, gave me a new charge, uh, con uh, carrying a concealed dirk or dagger. And they were trying to give me like 17 years for that shit. 17? Yeah. So I was like, man... I'm not fin I'm not about to play with these people. They said they'd give me um, 32 months, what half, and that's what I took. So I did wow. like 20 months off that. Wow. Months. Especially after going through a situation where you had to go to trial and, you know, oh, that yeah. happened and yeah. everything. So you're just like, not again, huh? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not about to play with these people. I got a son now. I got a girl. I just want to get, get through this, get up out of here and get back to them. So whatever I had to go through to do that, that's what I did. I did twenty one months, knocked that shit out, got out, and I ain't been back since. Man, real talk, real talk. You know, so so when you get out that time, like, uh, where did your life? I'm, you got back into acting again. Absolutely. But uh, where was you at mentally? You know, after <clears throat> getting out this time, you know, with everything. I was more focused because I was like, damn, I almost fucked up again, bro. I almost lost my life. Again, I can't be slipping like this, man. You know what I mean? And and I was just like focused on my son, man, on my family. Yeah. That's what really kept me right. And I started thinking before I do. I had to show him that I was 